Hello, assalamu alaikum. This is this is me, Dr. Jahangir, and you are watching me on my YouTube channel. That is FCPS Smart Study. Well, there is another MCQ that is that has ambiguity and that needs uh, uh, explanation with a reliable reference. So that is a patient brought to the ER in a state of shock. That is unrecordable BP with the heart failure. Now, which should be given? Now, if the question says uh, a person is in shock, the person is non-responsive and you are doing a CPR. Now in CPR, we know that the drug is the adrenaline. That is something else, but over here that is not mentioned. And they uh, they have asked about which drug should be given in case of shock, in case of heart failure, failure and the person is uh, in shock. So the best answer over here is not epinephrine. Now it needs the reference. Now, if there is an uh, if this question says the person is having low BP, then the, ne uh, the the best answer will be dopamine. Dopamine because it will increase the BP as well as it, it will increase the conductivity. Now, if the the person uh, is having a normal BP, if the question says if the person is having normal BP but the pulmonary edema is not resolving and there is decreased perfusion, then the the, the best option is then will be dabutamine. Now coming towards the references this is up to date USMLD reference while dopamine has historically been chosen before norepinephrine some evidence suggests that outcomes may be better with norepinephrine as the initial agent now this is regarding the cardiogenic shock you see the topic is cardiogenic shock on the top in the black in a trial of 1679 patients with circulatory shock due to wearing etrologies who were randomly assigned to initial therapy with either dopamine or norepinephrine. Now, there were also cardiogenic shock patients. There was a trend toward higher rates of death at 28 days with dopamine. Now, that is the problem. And there was significantly more arrhythmia, arrhythmias predominantly atrial fibrillation. Now, there is a risk of arrhythmias with, with dopamine and uh, with the butamine. But norepinephrine is safe. It is, it is neutral regarding the arrhythmias. There was no difference in the tr treatment effect based on the shock type, including in the subset of 280 patients with cardiogenic shock. We generally begin therapy with a vasopressor, usually norepinephrine. Now, this is a reliable source you can trust on. Well, there are another references also, but the UECMD and up to date uh, is the only uh, reliable source on which you can trust. In a patient with severe hypotension, systolic BP less than 80, the administration of dobutamine in an atropic agent is, less, is limited to a less sick patient. Now, that is very important. Less sick patient with a low cardiac index, high PC, uh, PCWP and the borderline low blood pressure but without severe hypotension. Now, this is very important. If the question says the BP is unrecordable, your answer will be norepinephrine. If the question says there is a BP but that is very low, the answer is dopamine. If the question says there is a borderline BP, there is a borderline BP, then the answer is dobutamine. Now, coming towards another reference. Now, this is actually emboss, another reliable source, a reliable reference over here. The inotropic therapy, the dopamine with low blood pressure. The dobutamine, borderline blood pressure. Now, that controversy is also removed. If borderline blood pressure, patient is less sick, dobutamine. If the person is more sick but no BP, norepinephrine. If the person is sick but low BP, dopamine. And the starting agent is the norepinephrine. I think I am clear with reliable reference and you will, inshallah, choose the right answer in the exam and the person is on CPR then choose the adrenaline if the person is on not CPR and the person is in shock and they have asked, asked the best drug then the best initial therapy is norepinephrine if the person is having low BP and uh, cardiogenic uh, low BP in shock low BP BP is recordable uh, so do dopamine and a person is having low BP but borderline or normal BP that is dobutamine uh, in which condition we give dobutamine with normal BP the answer is severe pulmonary edema due to cardiogenic shock and you uh, uh, severe pulmonary edema in cardiac failure sorry not shock if in shock then the BP uh, is not normal well there are conditions in which uh, even the BP is normal but the person is in shock because that normal BP is low for that person age 6 and race thanks for watching press the bell icon so that you can get notification of my new video